Road to a Championship, sponsored by Rex Cassie and Davis. Well, Jonathan the Husky is officially down in Houston for the final four matchup. And Governor Lamont has proclaimed it Husky Weekend. Yay! Head of the men's basketball team taking on the University of Miami tomorrow night. So what will it take to win a spot in the title game? Channel 3 Sports reporter Mark Robbins is live in Houston with someone who may know a few things about the game, the secrets of the Final Four. Hey, Mark, how are you? Uh, hi, guys. I, I, I'm doing great. It's been a, a wonderful trip so far. The city of Houston is really uh, welcoming everybody, and uh, a lot of people are showing up. A lot of Connecticut folks, a lot of Husky supporters, a lot of people from Connecticut from uh, several schools and all the schools in the state. Joining me now, a man who has been now to 46, this is 46th Final Four. Charles C.J. Jones, former athletic director at Central Connecticut State, former player at Central Connecticut, former coach at Central Connecticut. Uh, you, you, we're not going to cut him, but he does have blue blood, uh, if, uh, if that were to be the case. But C.J., thanks so much. In 46 years, why do you keep coming back? What makes this so special? I think after you go to the first one, it really just gets in your blood. You see the excitement. You're a basketball fan. You see the greatest college players of all time and it's just the cities going to various cities and experience in different cities it just gets in your blood and you want to do it every year and once you go you're hooked do you have a, a, a memory or two that, that stick out I we're going to talk about a lot of things in just a second with with your book but yeah, yeah I, I mean it's certainly um, when you look at them Villanova Georgetown you know and they had two of the Connecticut players Harold Jensen and Harold Presley you know it was a great final four a great city, uh, Kentucky. They did a really nice reception at a horse farm, so brings back, you know, great memories. I remember the first time I took my wife Linda uh, in 76, because I had gone in 74, I took her in 76, and every year after that, for about 30 years, she was sick during March Madness, so she could be going to the Final Four. So that was a, a, a nice experience and, and a great memory. And of course, when we went in 2000 to the NCAA tournament, I I think I bought every possible shirt that had Central Connecticut on it, sure. you know, during that time, and I ended up making a blanket out of it. And probably the last, one of the last uh, memories, which it was, it won't happen anymore, we were coming back in 79 from Salt Lake City, and we're on the plane, and we hear all this commotion, and next thing you know, it's Michigan State coming on the plane. Magic Johnson has the trophy, and I have a picture of that in the book, because yeah. him, him and Greg Kelsa sat directly in the seat in front of me. Let me mention the book. It's a method to March Madness. You co-wrote this book. It's about 17 years old now, but, uh, but it's still relevant. Oh, no question it's relevant, because it talks really about the Final Four, how it started, and you can see the changes from then to now. You know, at then, it was 18, 19, 20,000 seat venues, went to 30,000, now it's up to 60,000. So that's one of the big changes. The games used to be in the afternoon, so you could, you know, have a party and celebrate with your group in the evening. Now the games are later in the evening. So, you know, those are a couple of changes. And way back when, there was no alcohol served at NCAA events, and now in these venues, you know, you can buy beer, you can buy alcohol, those type of things. But it's just expanded so much that uh, you, you're only going to play in venues that are 60,000 seats or more. Money talk. Tell me, I know you're a central guy, but you're pulling for the Huskies. What do they need to do to beat Miami and then win it all? I think the Huskies have the deepest team. I think they have really strong inside play, and they have very good shooters. So I think if they just play their normal game, get some production inside to open up the outside, and if those outside shooters knock shots down, they're going to be a very tough team to beat. Favorite city that you've had a Final Four in? Wow, that's a tough one. I'm going to have to say Kentucky was probably one of the favorite cities just because Lexington. of the Lexington, Kentucky, yeah. because of the atmosphere, you know, because of uh, the size at that particular time yeah. and playing in Rupp Arena. Yeah, and this is the last time Central Connecticut went yeah. to the NCAA tournament was in Lexington, and we were both there at that time. CJ, thanks so much. Great to see you. Yes, CJ Jones from Central Connecticut, retired athletic director for the Blue Devils, reporting live with CJ, Mark Robbins, Channel 3 Eyewitness Sports. All right.